hello everyone so in today's video we are going to be talking about treatment of mania and bipolar depression so the treatment of bipolar depression has increased in recent years due to increased recognition of this disorder and also an increase in a number of available medication for the treatment of mania first agent that is used for the treatment of this disorder is lithium so lithium salts are used acutely and prophylactically for the managing bipolar patients so it can be used acutely and prophylactically that is prior to attack Lithium is effective in treating 60 to 80 percent of patients exhibiting mania or hypomania. Hypomania is the mild form of mania. Although many cellular processes are altered by treatment with lithium salt, the mode of action is unknown so we do not know the exact mechanism for the activity for the treatment of mania the therapeutic index of lithium is extremely low so therapeutic index is low and lithium salts can be very toxic in higher doses. Common adverse effects may include dry mouth, headache, polyuria, poly dipsia polyuria is excess secretion of uh, urine and polydipsia means that there is excessive thirst and polyphagia this is excess eating and other gi disturbances can also occur there can be tremors, dizziness, fatigue, dermatological reaction and sedation. So these are some side effects of lithium salts. If there is high concentration of lithium salt in plasma, it can indicate toxicity. It can cause ataxia, that is loss of full body movements, slurred speech, and coarse tremors. confusion convulsions lithium salts can also cause thyroid function to decline so therefore it should be monitored if patient is having decreased activity of thyroid then it should be discontinued as lithium salt uh, have GI distress, so therefore lithium should always be given with food. Lithium salt is secreted renally. So therefore we should be giving cautiously in patients having renal impairment but it is the best choice in patients with hepatic impairment so we can give it to patients who are having 
liver damage or liver dysfunction but we should be cautiously using it in patients who are renally dysfunctioned. There are many other drugs which are also being used for the treatment of mania and bipolar depressions. Several anti-epileptic drugs such as carbamazepine, valproic acid and lamotrigine. All of these drugs are actually anti epileptic and they are also used for more stabilizing for bipolar depressions. Other than that, other agents that have improved manic symptoms include clopromazine and haloperidol and newer antipsychotics these are the ones that are older antipsychotics and other than that newer antipsychotics are also being used for this purpose atypical antipsychotics are also being used for this purpose which include agents like Resperidone, Olenzapine, Ziprasidone, Eripiprazole, Essenapine, Cutiapine. These agents are also being used for the treatment or for the management of mania. Agents like Qtiapine, Loracidon, and, and the combination of uh, agents like Olanzapine, and fluoxetine have been approved for the treatment of bipolar depression. So these two agents and the combination of olanzapine and fluoxetine, these agents are approved for the bipolar depression. And previously we have talked about the agents which are used for the treatment or for the management of manic symptoms and such agents are older and newer antipsychotics and other than that atypical antipsychotics are also used for the management of mania whereas cutiapine and lorosidone and combination of olanzapine and fluoxetine is used for the depression state of bipolar disorder so this was all about treatment of mania and bipolar disorder. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching my videos.